Hello again guys and let's start our trip and our invasion by talking about Europe and all the mentalities or the different stuff that you've been wondering and let's start by why to target Europe first so you ask me hey why to target Europe at all so I'm gonna tell you why you have seen lately in all the groups and in all like you've experienced this too all the crazy algorithm changes in the USA all the pixel changes all the new pixel things that has been like changing and stuff and people are freaking out while in Europe you don't see that thing I think it's part of like the competition because in the United States there's a lot of competition uh, past sellers, huge companies like us marketers, Shopify people, t-shirt platforms people, like exactly us and we are competing in the same place. This makes it so hard for Facebook like to change all the time the, 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 the algorithm to be able like to cope with us like hey guys leave us alone or no actually they need our money but there is a lot of competition and Facebook needs like to be so smart and so I don't know how to get the best ads showing and this sometimes give us like the worst time ever with high CPMs with low reach with a lot of factors and we freak out most of the times when we're in Europe when we're in America I know this because I still run some a uh, couple of stores in the USA and I run a lot of t-shirts there so don't get me wrong I'm still in the United States just but my main countries my main market is in Europe because I find it so convenient and I find it so easy to do stuff there and to test new things um, why I can test new things like easily let's go here and say and uh, talk about the oh my god cheap at cost like it is so cheap so let me show you something in the United States if you do a new campaign the CPM could go from six seven to sometimes it goes up to 15 16 even okay to sixteen dollars while in Europe the CPM is always in the range of one to five it never goes above this and um, this is related to the country you're doing in so if you're doing even in Italy or Spain those countries the CPM is crazy cheap <laughs> like half a dollar you imagine what I'm talking about here it's like nothing and what does this uh, let me do and uh, you can see that finally again those assets with five dollars budget can talk again because if your CPM is one dollar or even let's take the average like in Europe the average CPM is two dollars so in two dollars and five dollars if I do an asset of five dollars I can reach up to two thousand something people this could be my reach for five dollars spent and out of my experience the first one thousand reach you should get some sales and if it was running in the United States the asset of five dollars you wouldn't have even reached 300 like this is the average for um, for the reach in the United States 300 to 500 for per five dollars spent so here you can find and see the difference I'm reaching a lot of new people with those five dollars like from the very beginning in the United States it can go down a bit like to reach four five three sometimes but it takes some time and it depends on the uh, uh on the ctr on your relevance score on everything while in europe there is nothing like you i bet you you always start with this cpm like one to five at most and with this five dollars spent 
you can reach a lot of people and you can determine if this is like a good campaign or not and you will see how to do this and how to determine in the next videos like especially in the how when to kill and uh, reading stats videos so this is what I wanted to say about Europe like it's so cheap um, so as we can see here too like hungry European waiting to buy there is a lot of people like waiting for you to show them a t-shirt or a product they do like with something or with something they do love on a t-shirt like if a surfer is in I don't know where in um, Italy and he sees some t-shirt with a surfer things on the things that used to sell in the United States he'll be so high he'll be like oh I need to get this t-shirt right now so um there's a lot of people expecting to see new stuff because they're not used to see they, they rarely see some ads there so there's a lot of potential for you to go and grow there and sell a lot of stuff and um next point it's unsaturated there is as i said before there is no competition like lately some competition is being built there but you will still find it so easy to sell there if you follow everything in this course and if you put a lot of dedication and will into this but i really recommend you guys to go and like dig into this because you're gonna find a lot of beautiful stuff in europe and you're gonna be so rich uh what next i wanted to tell you um, which platform if you're doing t-shirts I would uh, recommend easily for this because they have an, an awesome support easy platform scaling you can scale worldwide like you can take a, a US campaign to Europe and the shipping is still so good you can even reach Australia or New Zealand they had they have something good with the shipping things and high quality goods I it happened that I ordered sometimes uh, a couple of t-shirts from Teasley and I was impressed by the quality so I would recommend uh, that Teasley if you're doing on platforms and if you're doing t-shirts so now let's talk about understanding the European market so how is it different from the US t-shirt market or any market not only the t-shirts so e-commerce is e-commerce so different mentality Europeans has uh, different mentalities and I'm showing in the find a niche uh, chapter how to dig into each one of those countries like I can tell you in general about this because every country has its own uh, properties and its own culture and things so you have to take each com each country alone and dig into it and know exactly what people like what people don't like how big is that country all all of the things you have to research about that country before going into one and you can't like keep all the countries in one place like you can talk about uh, UK for example and Germany the same they both have different mentalities and you have to know each one of those mentalities as of as for the designs or things I had good experience and good uh, yeah I have good experience with the English designs when it comes to global niches like niches that are known worldwide and I'm gonna talk about this in the finding niches um, uh, chapter so there is there is basically two uh, niches the one the local niches and the global niches the global niches are the niches that are known in the United States while in local niches or I don't know the English speaking languages like TV shows movies and I'll as I said before there will be more explanation about this in the finding niches uh, chapter but there's also the local niches the hobbies the, uh, the job titles the everything and this is what I will show you how to dig into this and find some awesome things to sell so again the mentality I saw that the English designs work for the global niches so you can keep them uh, in English while the local niches you have to translate the design to the local uh, country so if you're doing uh, what is that I don't know I'm a surfer what is your superpowers 
if you're doing this in uh, Poland, for example, you have to translate it to Polish. Translation issues. I know that most of you are like overwhelmed with the translation issues and the new new language, but I promise you that I will show you the best way to find cheap the cheapest way to like translate stuff and to get somebody to help you all the time in uh, the chapter I showed you in the introduction and this chapter will be uh, this one finding local niches and I will show you the cheapest way to translate and to find people to help you and if you don't want to pay but it won't be a much to pay to be honest you can go and uh, email translation at easy.com and they can help you with the free translations so next English design versus local language design which what's better translation issues where how why we answered this before so what's better as I said before if you're doing a local niche so you'd better translate the design and if you're doing a global niche, something that is like known worldwide, video games, TV shows, I don't know, I will show a lot of those lists in the Finding Niches uh, videos, but if you're doing this, you can keep them in English. And ad copies you're asking, you need to translate it, but in order to know more about this, keep watching this course. Uh, now let's talk about top spenders. The years guys from experience are the best guys that trans uh, uh, converted for me. UK, Germany, France, Netherlands, Sweden, Austria and Ireland. You can hate those guys and um, they're like they lo they're like top spenders in Europe. Uh, the fan pages. The fan pages English or local language. It should be a local language with all a local language and how to run them you can pay $100 a month with the things I'm gonna show you in that video that I keep talking about and I'm bored of myself now talking about this video but I will show you how to do this um, but yeah I give somebody $100 to run all my pages like 10 of pages he's like the best um, add templates and texts for this guys I made you a great deal and just go here and you'll find everything laying in here waiting for you to come uh, this is first of all the email templates and this is the campaign description so if you click here you will see all the things in here and thanks again for Teasley for giving me this or thanks again to Teasley or for Teasley. I forgot what to use for this purpose um, until it loads because I have the slowest internet today. I don't know why, but it's okay. I can live with this today. So the next chapter, I'm going to teach you how to find niches. And this is where all the things begin and all the why. So... Are you ready to go and start digging into stuff? I can't hear ya. Oh, you said yes. So let's go, guys, and see you in the next video.